Hey everyone, it is Monday morning and I'm headed back in to work. Um, sorry I didn't get to do a wrap up last night, Scott and I didn't. I got in really late from Summerfest. We really lucked out, it threatened to storm all day. The show is at an outdoor amphitheater. The actors were even having to do what they call rain pace which is where they speed up the words and the pacing of the show because they're trying to beat the storm. But, come on, it was pretty cool. Shakespeare with lightning in the background. That was kind of awesome. Critley just got home. Did you just film me? Yes, yes, I did. Ha <laughs> ha. Like I said, Critley just got home, and she is telling me all about geocaching. Jordan, you and Morgan may like this a lot. Basically, it's a real-world treasure hunt with all kinds of different ways to play, different kinds of geocaches to do, and basically all you need is your iPhone, you create an account, and you go out there and find these geocaches in your local area, and... Um, you report your findings and you return the geocache where it is. So we are out heading out for our first geocaching adventure. And it is at yet another cemetery. This is the Johnson Cemetery? Kind of this little country road. We found our first first geocatch. Yep. It's this little cam camo bottle that someone's made. Let's see what's inside. Here is the logbook. For them. Official geocache site placed by UT Shortcuts. It had items for trade in it. So we took this little heart, someone's made out of wire, and we're going to leave a sketched picture. We found like a little bench area down here by the Johnson Cemetery. And it looks like here's like a creek or something. Yeah. It's a really super muddy creek. Right after the rain, yeah. This this little area was made in memory of Mexico. Okay. So this is an actual like little tiny tourist spot. On our way to our next geocache. It is called Berea Trackable Hotel. Now I don't know why it's called Trackable Hotel. I'm wondering if it's at the hotel. One thing about these is you some of these are in places where you feel kind of weird searching around. Yeah. You feel like you're going to get arrested. Or at least in a really big fuss. This is an odd little area. Okay. It is like a marsh, literally. Holy crap. I'm getting soaked. at this point where you're just really hoping this is just rainwater. If this isn't rainwater, I'm going to be really upset. <sighs> well, Scott chose this little owl out of the cache. And we left our own little trinket, I believe. Did you put ours in there? I don't have one on me. It's an eye. I didn't. I have it on me. I thought you were going to leave. Get it. 
Oh, it's in my back pocket. Yes. Okay. So, yes, we're putting our own little drink in on. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot where I put it. Well, our pinnacle hike was not what we expected. It got cut short, as you can tell. Because it started to storm. We were caught in a bit of a downpour, but um, we got really close to the one of the geocaches up there and it started thundering and the wind started blowing and then the clouds opened and a downpour. Yep. Yes, that was purposely dramatic. Um. <laughs> so Abe and all of us turned around and started heading back to the truck. <laughs> yes. And then about the time that we got down to the truck, it actually stopped raining, but the clouds looked pretty good like they could start it. Yeah, they still do. So we're just gonna call it a day, take some showers, and probably do some video editing so we can get a vlog up today. Yeah.